Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my scalp care and hair care kind of routine. I have been struggling for maybe a week or so now, like super dry and itchy scalp. I have huge flakes of dandruff. Don't really know what's going on. My hair's been super dry, but I'm going to try to fix all that today and take you guys along with me. So if you are interested, make sure you keep on watching and I'll share with you guys all the products and everything I am doing for this little hair care routine so yeah I think this is a good angle I don't know I kind of have you guys propped up hopefully it's a good angle let's just go ahead and get started so I washed my hair like two days ago and even before I did my last wash I've been dealing with this so I wish I would have showed you guys as soon as I woke up this morning because I did already apply this do grow anti-itch oil um, I've been applying this for like the past few days and just been I've just been letting it soak in my hair before I wash my hair but um yeah so since I applied this you can't really see the amount of dandruff that I have and like how dry my scalp was I don't think you can because um yeah so I don't know why but all around my hairline has been super dry that has been the worst part I need to get my brows done I really that has really been the worst part for me but like I said I did already moisturize my scalp this morning it still is very itchy even like around like the back of my neck and just like everywhere it's just super itchy so i picked up these two products from love beauty and planet i've never used anything from their line before but i was going through i was looking on target and i was trying to see what i can find for my scalp and yeah i thought this looked pretty interesting this is called the delightful detox sulfate free shampoo scrub I've never used a shampoo scrub before. It sounds pretty interesting and it sounds like it could get the job done. I don't really know. But also, I got the conditioner. It's also the Delightful Detox line. They do have the regular shampoo of this brand or this line, but I didn't grab it. I only grabbed the scrub. This is meant to be used in place of the regular shampoo once a week. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower so I can start using the shampoo scrub and conditioner. just washed out the shampoo scrub and honestly I feel like my hair feels kind of dry my scalp itself feels very uh, like refreshed it kind of has a little bit of a tingly um, sensation going on and I feel like it was really clean so my scalp feels good but now my hair just feels kind of dry to be honest like I don't know if you guys can even see that it looks pretty dry so yeah also it's very naughty but 
I like the way it made my scalp feel. It definitely feels like it was detoxed and cleansed really well. Now I'm going to move on to the conditioner. And just to show you guys again, this is what it looks like. Out feels super refreshed super clean and this shower scrub was really good I love this stuff I've never tried it before but I definitely will be using this again I feel like it really cleansed my scalp super well and I don't know if I mentioned but it does have charcoal and bergamot in it I hope I'm saying that correctly but charcoal is used uh, or it's known for its detoxing properties so that was good you guys probably already seen what it looked like in the shower but it's a jelly texture and I guess it has like the little um, charcoal specks in it and also the coconut husk it says that is inside of here. So if you guys need some sort of scalp detox or a little shampoo scrub, you guys should definitely check out this one from Love, Beauty, and Planet. One thing I did notice after um, using the shampoo scrub was that my hair felt kind of dry and I was a little worried because my hair was already dry to begin with so I didn't want these two products to dry my hair out even more. So thankfully when I went in with a conditioner it actually did hydrate my hair a little better than I thought it would and it did give me enough slip for me to be able to um, finger detangle my hair in the shower without feeling like I was pulling out my hair too much. So this one is also made with organic coconut oil, bamboo charcoal, um, it has no phthalates, no parabens, no silicones. It's also vegan and cruelty free, safe for colored hair. So yeah, I really enjoyed both of these products. You guys should check them out if you're looking for some sort of scalp detox. Yeah, I found mine at Target. And speaking of Target, I actually bought a hydrating hair mask from Shea Moisture. I think it's the intensive hydration hair mask. But the thing is, I ordered for pickup because, you know, social distancing and everything. And I forgot to look in my bag and when I got home, I realized it's not in the bag. So I think I'm going to go downstairs in the kitchen and make a DIY hair mask. So, so let's go downstairs to the kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to be using this raw African shea butter. I bought this huge container from Amazon. A few months ago now I use this on the regular for my skin it helps with the dark marks so I'm gonna be melting some of this and into a little bowl and I'm also gonna be using some extra virgin olive oil and some honey whatever I can get out of this bottle <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop some of this shea butter out and just melt it to be honest I'm I'm just gonna kind of eyeball everything I don't really have exact measurements on any of the ingredients but we're just gonna see how this works and I'd rather have more than have too little so I'm just gonna go off that <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll link a actual recipe down below if you guys are interested in learning how to create your own DIY mask with legitimate measurements and um, all of that stuff I'm gonna go ahead and melt this in the microwave. This is what it looks like out of the microwave. There's still some pieces that are a little chunky, but I'm gonna mix them, hopefully they melt down. So that's the shea butter pretty much melted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the extra virgin olive oil. I think I'm gonna go with probably two tablespoons-ish. A little bit more. <laughs> and I'm gonna mix that a little bit. 
And now I'm gonna go and add some of this honey. This is raw and unfiltered North American honey. So, I'm assuming it's pure enough to be put in my hair. But I am not a chemist. I am not an expert on DIY hair mask. So, So I just rinsed out the hair mask that I applied and this is what my hair is looking like. It honestly feels super soft and I've never done a hair mask like that before. I don't think I've ever DIYed a hair mask so that was just kind of like a random thing. But um, I'm going to detangle my hair once again. I'm just going to go in with my favorite detangling brush from Careco. And it's pretty much detangled already but I'm just going to run through it one more time. So lastly, I'm just going to be putting some leave-in conditioner. This is one of my favorite uh, leave-in conditioners from the brand of Verb. It's just their curl leave-in conditioner. And I'm not going to be waiting for any type of results today or waiting for my hair to dry or like styling it. I have a curly hair routine posted using all of the Verb products if you are interested in watching that. I'll link it down below. Okay, so this is going to be the end of today's video. My scalp feels so much better. It definitely feels not dry and I really do think that this shampoo scrub worked well on my hair. I definitely will be using this again when I need to. It was probably my favorite thing that I used today. And my scalp is pretty moisturized right now. Obviously I don't have any flakes at the moment. Hopefully it stays moisturized. But that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to check out some of my actual curly hair routines and whatnot, I'll link them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!